Hello everyone, my name is Robert Bomar and I'd like to read today in the New Testament, the King James Version, and I'd like to read out of the chapter 5 in the book of Acts and read uh, verse 32. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost whom God hath given to them that obey him. Okay. So we'll go back over to Acts 2.38 and 2.39. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Okay, so if you... And we'll read 39. For the promise is unto you and your children and to all that's far off, even as many as our Lord our God shall call. Okay, now we'll go back and read chapter 5 in Acts, verse 32 again. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. The only way you can get it is go be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost as promised to you and your children. Okay, and then we'll go to chapter 5 in Acts and uh, we'll read 41 and 42 verse and they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name and daily in the temple in every house they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ see that's Peter and John the disciples that was his ones that walked with Jesus three and a half years. These people knew Jesus. We didn't, We don't know Jesus. So you listen to all these apostles and Peter and then obey that. It says, whom, if you obey God, he will give you the whole, you get the Holy Ghost. You promised right there, but you must go down and be back, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The only way that you can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost is obey God right there. And, they, and his apostles right there is telling them. And, uh, and I just showed you right here, read to you in 42 verse, and daily in the temple and in every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus. Jesus is the Christ. God sent him here for a purpose. We have to go through the name of Jesus Christ or we can't get the Holy Ghost. And without the Holy Ghost, you ain't got nothing to rise that body out of the ground to take you into that spiritual realm. So don't let all these denomination preachers tell you no different. See, they'll preach a different baptism. But they ain't but one spirit, one God, and one baptism. And it's Jesus Christ right here. He's telling you right here that you got to obey I just, let's read it again. It's chapter 5 and, uh, in Acts and verse 32. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. You've got to go down in the name of Jesus Christ, repent first and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost as promised. And without that, you ain't got nothing to get you into heaven. So don't listen to all these other people that tell they they tell you all wrong. It's all wrong. Right here, God sent Jesus here. He put her in Mary. Uh, he he sent the Holy Ghost down into Mary's womb, cause all of God couldn't fit in there. God's too big. The clouds are the dust of His feet. He couldn't. All of Him couldn't go in there. That's why He calls Himself the Son of God. Jesus is God start with Jesus years ago God created heavens and the earth he was a spirit Adam sinned and turned into the flesh now he had to send Jesus a part of his own body his spiritual body down into Mary's womb and to get a fleshly body where he could die for all of our sins and uh, it was a part of him and then when he told Mary on the, when he was resurrected he said, Touch me not yet. I have not ascended back to the Father. And when he went back up in there, he become he went back into that spiritual like we have to do. Once we receive the Holy Ghost, 
repent, be baptized like this I just explained. We'll get the Holy Ghost and we'll rise and we'll go back up in there. We'll be sons of God. See, we'll be sons of God. You got to go through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way. And Peter and his apostles walked with him. They knew him well. They wouldn't lie to you. They will not tell you no lie. They tell the truth. And you will, uh, God has given them the Holy Ghost who obeys him. And he sent Jesus here for that purpose. And when Jesus went back up into him, now Jesus become God. Now it's all, we got to go through Jesus. We got to do the th same thing Jesus done. Repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. We shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And we it'll rise that old body up. And that's what's going to take us to heaven someday. And I'd like to close with saying, everyone, it, is, it says right here, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He didn't say three or four or five or fifteen or two or three million people. He goes, Everybody, everybody. And I'd like to thank everyone, and I'd like to pray for, you can pray for me, and I'll pray for you again, and thank you so much.